Thank um, Jeremy Fletcher here with us. Uh, so give Jim a round of applause. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Okay. Now, this, this particular effect um, I've won several competitions with. And it bores us all to tears. You've seen it a hundred times. But it's my favourite effect. And I'm going to show it again tonight. Um, so, this is one of the nice tins you get in a supermarket. Nobody knows what it is. It's filmed off the shelf. And it's bashed. And it's got a mist of the prize inside. So, Mike actually, he gave it a wee shake, and the idea of you try and guess what's inside the tin. Peaches? Have you seen this before? <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, mate. They give it a wee shake, so you think peaches? Could be, yeah. Yeah, it could be anything. I don't actually know, because it cost me 10 pence to be here tonight. <laughs> Right, Jim, have a wee shake and see if you can sort of suss it out. So, what I did was, I brought a pack of cards along with me while Jim was doing this. And Jim, I'll spin the cards out for you, and you can see the cards are all mixed up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Jim, just for a demonstration just now, can you push one card forward? You can be any card you like. Hope he changed his mind there, eh? Mm -hmm. Now Jim, are you happy with that card? Yeah. Okay Jim, once again, can, for the audience, can you make sure there's only one nine of diamonds in the deck? Again, there's only one deck, only 52 cards. Okay. Are you happy? Yes. Still happy? Still happy. Okay. Now, Jim, as I say, I bought this today. I don't know what's inside it. What I did do was I took I take a pack of cards and I've written all different symbols in the back. Now, there is only 52 cards here. Jim, for example, if you'd have chosen the two of clubs, I would make sweet corn appear inside this tin. And you can go through all these like so. All right, so you just read this out for me. Yeah, okay, mushrooms, yeah? Potatoes, in fact, what I do is, if I spread them out, there you go, and I'll just show you that every single card, I don't have my specs on either, but if you want to shout them out just to show that they are all different, every card is completely different here. I'll just go through them all, oh, that's the right way, I can't, I can't, I can't see. So, every card, I don't know where your peaches is. But it should be there somewhere, okay? I know there is pieces there. But the point is that, Jim, you could have selected any card yes. from the deck, okay? Um, and chopped tomatoes. Now, Jim, for the very first time, can you have a look in the back of your card and show people what's in the back of it? Carrots. Oh, carrots, right? Carrots. Seems to be a bit heavy for carrots, isn't it? Mm. Well, let's have a look, let's see. But bear in mind, Jim, you could have chosen any card at all. Sure. It wasn't set at all, you weren't, you weren't told to come up and say no. that. Excellent Jim. Um, of course if I take the bowl <laughs> and I open this up because I don't want you to sue me Jim. If I open this up, hopefully it will be going to be down to that. Carrots, ladies and gentlemen, and they've got, of course, Jim gives us a wee hand tonight. Jim, you get the carrots. Oh, you get to keep there, you can sit there, you can munch away if you like. <laughs> and give Jim a round of applause. Okay. Well, um, Alex, we'd like